G'day legends. In this video, we're going to check out the easiest online vocal remover. Now we have checked this out before previously on this channel, but over the last few months, they've made some changes. They've updated the site and we're going to do a quick overview of all of the features that you get when you sign up for this application. And after this video is done, there's a link in the description below. So make sure you go and test this out for yourself. And once you fill that link in the description, you'll end up on a site that looks just like this. On the left hand side, we've got our options that we can choose from the vocal remover, stem splitter, noise reducer, key BPM finder, pitch changer, and there's also a voice changer, which is a separate application from this. So if you want to test that out for yourself, feel free to go and check that one out later. To start with, I'm going to show you how to remove vocals from any song with the vocal remover. Basically, all you need to do is upload your song and let the Eases AI do the rest. Once it's done uploading, you should have three files in front of you like this, the original and then the separated vocal and then the track without any vocals in it. You'll have an instrumental now. So let's check these out. This is what the original one sounded like. Always find myself back here again I just can't escape from the past My mind's become my worst enemy So in seeds of doubt so easily Always find myself back here again I just can't escape from the past my mind's become my worst enemy Sowing seeds of doubt so easily that simple. Now we've got an isolated vocal and we also have an instrumental track. Let's check out a section where there's a bit more going on with some drums. You'll never take me, never break me, I'm not backing down. It's done an awesome job of pulling the vocals out of that track. So this is really cool. If you want to pull a vocal from a track, you could use it in a remix, or maybe you just want to pull the vocals out of a track so you can sing over the top of it. There's a couple of cool ways that you can use this application. But that's just how simple it is with the Eases Vocal Remover. Now let's check out the Stem Splitter. So the Stem Splitter gives us a couple of options. We can extract drums, we can extract the bass, we can extract piano or guitar. We're just going to try this out on some drums and see how it goes. So same deal, all we have to do is pick our song and upload the file and then Eases is gonna do all the work for us. It's so the same deal as before. Once it's done uploading, you're gonna end up with three tracks in front of you, the original, the separated drums, and then the track without drums. Let's check out the original and then have a listen to how well it separated these drums from the track. So that's pretty cool. And how I would personally use this is I would use this for making covers. I would pull the drums out of a track so that then I could go and record drums and lay them over the top. And I'm not going to have the original drums in the recording because that can kind of sound pretty annoying and make it a little bit unpleasant to listen to when you can hear two drum kits going at once. The stem splitter is also great if you want to make some backing tracks for live performances. You can pull out the bass, you can pull out the guitar pull out the drums and you can just lay these in to use in a live situation. All right, let's check out the noise reducer. So this application is really good if you need to clean up a vocal recording and it might just be some spoken words, something you've recorded, maybe a bit of content that you've been creating and there's just a lot of noise in the recording and you wanna get those vocals sounding a little bit cleaner, then this is a great way of doing it. 
So yet again, you just have to upload your audio file and let Eezus do the rest. Okay, so check out this original file. This is just a quick test to show you how well the Eezus noise reducer works. I've got a really noisy fan in the room with me right now. And after we run this recording through the noise reducer, you should hear it get cleaned right up. This is just a quick test to show you how well the Eezus noise reducer works. I've got a really noisy fan in the room with me right now. And after we run this recording through the noise reducer, you should hear it get cleaned right up. It's pretty awesome. Check this out. You should hear it get cleaned right up. You should hear it get cleaned right up. This is just a quick test to show you how well the Eezus noise reducer works. This is just a quick test to show you how well the Eezus noise reducer works. This is just a quick test to show you how well the Eezus noise reducer works. So that's actually awesome. It's done a really good job at separating the noise out from that original audio recording. Previously, that sounded terrible and just would have been a really unprofessional sound if you were using that in a video or in a recording for a song. And this definitely makes it sound a lot cleaner. All right, let's check out the key and BPM finder. So I'm gonna upload a song here and see if it gets all this information right. So this is just a demo of a song that I put together. And right now it's telling me that the BPM is 78. It's in a major key. And when referring to the Camelot wheel to figure out the key, it's saying it's 9B. And if you don't know what the Camelot wheel is, you can either Google search that, or you can check out this little image right here on the screen now. And it says that 9B is G major, which is actually correct. And if I open up the project right now, you'll see that the BPM is actually 78. Cause how long is too long can take back all of my mistakes I wish I never And as you can see from the auto-tune plugin that I had on the vocals, we are in fact in G major. So it has done a great job of figuring out the BPM and the key. Now this can be really useful if you don't know how to figure this stuff out for yourself, you can just upload a track and it's gonna give you some good information to work off of. This can also be handy if you're a DJ and you wanna blend tracks together and you're trying to figure out which songs work together, which BPMs, which keys are gonna align nicely. This is a quick and easy way of doing it. Now let's check out this last application, the Pitch Changer. We're gonna upload that same track here now. So this is really cool. You can change the pitch of the track up or down six semitones, but you can also adjust the BPM as well. You can also adjust the volume. So if you've got a really quiet recording, you can boost it up. This track is already quite loud, so boosting it up is probably just gonna make it distort. So we're just gonna leave it where it is. But let's test out speeding this up and changing the key. Okay, so this is what the track sounds like currently. Let's say I felt like it was a little too slow and I want to speed it up a touch. Let's push it up maybe 10 BPM. And let's say I wanted it in a higher key. Let's push it up two semitones and see how it sounds. Slow it down a little bit, maybe take it down a semitone. So it's crazy how much the BPM and the key of this song actually changes the mood and the vibe of the music. So maybe you've recorded a demo like this and you're trying to decide, should this song be faster? Should it be slower? Should it be in a different key? Auditioning it out on something like this can really help you decide where you want that song to go. But you could also take tracks and change the key, change the tempo to match them up for something like a DJ set as well. If you've got two songs that are a little bit out and you want to match their BPMs and you want to match the key of the song so you can do some cool transitions and make it really seamless, this is a cool way of setting that up. So that pretty much covers all of the applications on this site. Now you can come over, make a free account, you can test this stuff out, but you can't download the files unless you pay for a subscription or you pay for minutes. You can see there's a couple of different plans. The free trial lets you have three uploads a day, but you can't download any files. They've got monthly plans, they've got a yearly plan, and they also have a pay as you go. So depending how much you might use this site, if you feel like you're gonna be on here all the time uploading and downloading tracks, then maybe a monthly or a yearly plan is going to be the best thing for you. Or if you were just gonna use it every now and then, then perhaps grabbing some minutes is the way to go. As always guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.